Hello, Brian from Workspace Admins. Today we are looking at managing Chrome browser in the Google Admin Console. So this used to be called a Chrome Browser Cloud Management, uh, but Google has since rebranded it to uh, Chrome Enterprise Core, uh, which is essentially a free license that you get. So if you go to the subscriptions tab, you may need to add Chrome Enterprise Core if you haven't already. So you can simply click on add or upgrade a subscription and find the <coughs> find the uh, upgrade that you need or the license that you need and just accept the terms and to continue. So you first need to, or in order for you to enroll a browser, you first need to create a token. So uh, if you go to the Chrome browser tab and find the token, this is where, you're, where you will be able to see the tokens that have been created. And if I go to the Chrome browser, um, manage browsers tab and find the right org in it, and you will be able to click on enroll, uh, which will allow you to download the, download the registry file for Windows or a text file for Mac and Linux devices. Uh, and then you can also push this uh, as a policy using uh, your MDM of choice. So I'm just going to simply download the registry file here. Uh, I am on a Mac, uh, but I do have a uh, Windows VM running uh, in another tab. Uh, this is where I'll upload the uh, file that I just downloaded and um, try to enroll the browser. And let's just uh, click on the file here. Make sure that I can upload this file, upload file. And I'm just going to move this download window off screen. Or I don't have anything important here. So I'll just upload this file and look it, look it on the desktop. So I'm just on the Chrome policy screen here. Uh, I'm not sure you can see, uh, but I don't have any policies applied. And it is a bit, the VM itself is a bit slow because I'm using a relatively small VM for cost reasons. And I'm just going to try to zoom out again. Okay. So I have the registry file here. I'm just going to simply double click on it and make the changes to the registry. Am I sure I want to continue? Yes. So it has been added to the registry. So I'm just going to close this and reload the policies here. I don't have anything set, or I do have the cloud management enrollment token policy set, and it is now applied. So I'm just going to restart Chrome. And as you can see, we now have the policies that are applied immediately to the device. So we do have some policies set uh, that's applied at the uh, root org unit. Uh, so we do have some Chrome extensions now being installed. Uh, there is also Gen AI default settings that's being applied. And one browser uh, that I want to show. So sign in required, sign in required is sign in required or browser sign-in policy is also there. And let me just go ahead and modify some policies. So I'm just going to refresh this page here. And as you can see, I can start to see the browser itself, see what extensions are installed, what policies are applied, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a new policy. So in order for you to go to the policies, you may need to navigate through different menus. So for ours, it's under Chrome browser settings and I'm under manage browser setting. So you can search by the full text or on device policy name. So this is a policy that came up recently for me. So I'll just search for allowed domains for apps. So this is actually two separate Chrome policies that managed by the same setting, which is a bit confusing. So the first policy only applies to Chrome OS or the first setting only applies to Chrome OS. And second policy applies to Chrome browser. So here I will just define workspace 
admins.org and gws.wtf and we'll show you what this policy looks like on the VM. So I'll just hit save and below the policies here and I should be able to see that policy get applied relatively quickly. So there you go. So we now have the policies set. So Google is allowing sign-ins to those two domains I specified as well as uh, GCP or service accounts. So let's just go ahead and open a new tab. And at this point, I'm not trying to sign into the browser. I'm just trying to sign in within Chrome. So I'm just going to enter a consumer uh, Gmail account. So I'll just type brian at gmail.com as an example. It's not my email address, but I'm sure this email address exists. Oh, it actually doesn't. That's good to know. I'll just say brian.kim at gmail.com. So this is how you can use Chrome policies uh, to block access to a consumer account at the machine itself. But if you were apply this to instead a managed user, uh, then you can only control the managed profile. So if the user happened to be signed into one of the managed Google accounts and you, you apply the policy to the user instead of the machine, then you are effectively controlling the just the managed profile. So on the other hand, I'll just go back and just uh, enter Brian at workspaceadmins.org. So this will go through and prompt me for a password. And this will also allow me to log in, but if I were to type in my actual, one of my actual Gmail addresses, uh, this is going to prevent me from doing so. so uh, this is how you go about enrolling um, browser on a Windows device. So we are using Windows Server, but you can also do this on a Mac or Windows or Linux. So you can just simply download the registry file or the text file and load it directly, or you can use MDM to push these policies. So uh, going back to the actual browser itself, so we did take a look at the what you can do. So if I wanted to issue some remote commands, uh, so I'll just go here and I do need to find the profile. So there is only one profile. So you can uh, clear cache cookies or both caches, cache and cookies. So this uh, is a great tool uh, in your fingertips to help you manage or support your users, especially when they're having um, some browser related issues. So if you found this video helpful, uh, give us a thumbs up. Or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you.